Hey guys, Kate Kennedy here, and I wanted to show you um, my progress in my December daily. Now, my original plan completely fell off track. Um, I was going to use a big eight and a half by eleven We Are Memory Keepers um, binder, but I start. I noticed that the orientation of the four by three and the um, four by six cards didn't really fit with the stuff I was going to use. So I had to kind of abandon that plan and I'll show you how I did adapt some of those page protectors to work and what I'm going to use because I really liked that it had the four by four squares in it, but it just wasn't going to work. So I do have this new um, handbook from Studio Calico. It's a really pretty linen color and I really like it because it's a thinner um, binder than the original one, which is this one, which you can see is off, like double the thickness. The difference is the holes in the page protectors. This one has six holes and these only have four. So what I'm hoping to be able to do, if they don't come out with, um, some of these page protectors are the same configuration as the original ones. So I can just transfer them into those. Um, but I don't think that any extra inserts are available right now. And so what it comes with is two of um, five different designs. And there there are only three that are the same. The solid one, the two three by fours, and the one four by six, and then the four three by fours. So those I can transfer. But until they come up with the rest of them, I can't really do that. So it may be, you know, a few months from now that I can actually put it into this album. But eventually this is the album that I'd like to use because it is a thinner album. But in the meantime... What I've done is just taken an old Studio Calico handbook that I had that I was actually storing stamps in and I moved my stamps into a different album, just one from Michaels. It's the same size. It's Becky Higgins, I think, that I got like 60 or 70% off. Um, and so I put my December daily in here. So what I'm going to do first is before I get into the project, which all of what I just said is why I haven't decorated the front or the side yet. But I wanted to show you just a couple of things that I have um, prepared for my project. Um, and that is this little container of like embellishments. And I just put some washi tape on the top that I was gonna use and then didn't. So that's like not really anything. But what I did was I kind of went through a whole bunch of different things and pulled out bits and pieces that I wanted to use or thought I would use in this project. And this is all stuff that I will do once I put my pictures in because I'm not really sure where my pit, where where in each page my pictures are going to go. So I didn't want to put down anything like this yet. Some of it I did, like some of the numbers and stuff, but most of it I haven't. So what's in here are, these are some gold um, foiled little things that came from a Becky Higgins kit. So I stuck those in there. I really love those. It's one that you can get at Michael's, I believe. Um, these are some like kind of big sequin things that came from some Studio Calico pack. Um, whoops. These um, wood veneer are a mix of ones from the Felicity Jane kits, numbers and letters, and also from, I'm not sure where these big ones came from. I can't remember. These are just some buttons and brads, a big mixture. Some different kinds of clips. They're not paper clips. They're just those kind of slide on clips. Um, these are from the hip kit. December documented kit, these um, craft numbers, and then these are from, I think, a Studio Calico kit. Um, just some different wood veneer, some leftover bits from hip kits, um, some ornament wood veneer. Um, again, leftover things from hip kits, those arrows, and these stars are just from Michael, I think. Um, a bunch of different flair. I did get some flair off of um, a Facebook group. It is so cute, and if I can, remember to put the, or remember who, where I got it from, um, down below, I will do that. I'll put a link, but it's two different sets. One is like a Christmas set. And then the other one is just a, a cute set. So here's just some of them. I'm trying to find the really Christmassy ones. And then some of, some of these are from different places. Like this one is from the Felicity Jane kit. Um, we'll see. Anyhow, well, you'll get the point. So there's like this little reindeer dreaming of a white Christmas, the Santa who's like dancing. Um, 
December 14. And then these other ones are from, these are from a separate set. But anyway, you, you, get the, you get the idea here. Then I also took some like numbers out of different sets of alphabets. Like I love these black and white ones. Those are pink paisley, I think. Some gold labels. Um, these are from the Maggie Holmes ephemera. And this is just a piece of chipboard. My gold photo corners because I can't not do a project without those. These are some, um, you've seen a lot of this stuff when I showed what I was going to use. Different paper clips. These are a bunch of um, wood veneer that I painted last year with some gold, that gold paint that I use all the time. What's it called? Oh my gosh. I've shown it a million times. You get it with the um, like gilding stuff. It's like gilding paint, but it works awesome. And it's like really super bright and shiny. Um, just different paper clips and then different um, pieces of wood veneer. So then I have a blank space. So I just wanted to show that that's kind of like my finishing touch thing. And of course, like enamel dots and things like that. Now, this is what how I have adapted some of those um, We Are Memory Keepers page protectors. So what I did was just cut out around the part that was um, sealed. And then to create the holes that would fit into this binder, which I may have to add a third one if I use the other binder. I just put two strips of white paper over it and I used that Tombow, um, this, I've done a whole thing on this, this Tombow Extreme adhesive. And then I just punched holes and I punched the holes using this American Crafts hole punch. So that's a four by four. And then this one is a five by seven, I believe. And then I also did a bunch of like just fun little stuff like bags. Um, these are some Adori envelopes that I got in Paris. That I came with six, but I'm like so hoarding them. But I decided to just go ahead and use one. Like just different tags, um, different envelopes. This is like from Paper Source. I love these. They're like these big pockets with this punch out, which you could totally make this with some cardstock and a circle punch. Um, some different things. I made this last year also for my December daily and never used it. So it's a pocket. And then I just hand stitched this um, tag and I um, used a paint pen on some reinforcers to make them gold. And then this is just a piece of um, cardstock that I cut out and embossed in gold glitter. Here's one of those pockets that I used one of the um, print shop words on and then a couple of bags just a gold striped one and a craft one and then I also made these last year this is from a super old jelly bean soup album and I just cut the holes and then I stamped this reindeer which um that is a cameo cut but I cut it into a stamp Anyhow, so these are things that I will insert along the way. Some of some of which are, some of this kind of stuff I already have in here, but um, I have all these to add to, like if I need to add more photos or whatever as I go along, because I just don't know. So let me get started showing you the album. So this is the first page. Let me see if that's good in frame. Well, let's see if I can zoom in just a little bit more. Um, this is the first page and I, some of them I put numbers on, a lot of them I didn't. This is just a little clear tag and I used some of the alphas from the hip kit. Um, December, kit, oops, can't even see that. December kit there. Um, this is a piece of um, transparency that's gold and that came from this pack from Studio Calico, you, it was like a special thing that you could get and it has like gold and white of all these different transparencies. It's awesome. So that's the first page. And then on the back side, this is really cool. This is a letterpress card that I made and I was experimenting. I'm gonna do a video on this. I was just kind of preparing to do a video. So I was experimenting with a bunch of different things. What I did here is I letterpressed in Versamark and then I poured embossing powder on it. And so it's still debought, like it's still letterpress feeling, but it's super crisp because it's embossing powder. Cause the gold letterpress paint doesn't really work that well. So I love the way that that turned out and I'm definitely gonna do a video on that. So this is just the back side. it's not day two or anything. And then this I just left blank because I needed a background for this transparency. So I just added this little um, gold foil cameo die cut 
here and that's just going to be a plain page and then this is going to be day two i haven't done anything on it yet so i just put a little post it there um, here's another page protector that i um, adapted to work in here it's a four by four card and a three by four card and this one is day three little photo corner there and then day four um, just some gold embossed wood grain paper and some paper from gossamer blue and then day five I don't have a number on here, so any of the ones that have a post-it are because I haven't put a number on them, on them yet. Um, day six, the back. And then for day seven, I just put a glassine bag in here. Um, I used a gold foil label. And these are some chic tag alphabets that came in a hip kit last year. And then this is a little embellishment from the, a crepe paper line, it's the little chipboard pack. This is day eight, and that's one of those stripe oops, stripe uh, numbers there. And then day nine, oops, you can't miss that. Day nine, I didn't add because I just haven't yet. And I used one of those super cute little um, clips with the pink deer on it. And then this will be day 10. And I have this in here on a piece of wax paper, the letters, and then that's just floating. I, if it was a sticker, I used um, my EK Success powder tool on the back of it to make it unsticky and then I just stuck it in there and what I did was I just took a little bit of the powder out and put it into a little container and then I just use a paintbrush because I find that it's way faster than using that powder tool because it's hard to get out sometimes. So a lot of these days I, I what I did was I stamped out a calendar using an there's an Amy Tangerine stamp that you could get a while ago that was um, like all the, the months of the year and you could change it I'm trying to find it. You could change it. You can change it for every month and stamp it out. And here it is. So what I did was I just stamped out December and I could look and see what day of the week each day was. And if it's just like a, like the 10th is a Wednesday. And I mean, that's just a work day. There's not like really probably anything exciting going on. So I just put one four by six here. I can just use a four by three picture and do a little writing and add the, the day. And then the same thing for day 11 because it's a Thursday, I mean. And then day 12 was a Friday, so I added, I mean, I have some more space for it. I used a little pocket here that has a little um, acetate front to it. And then day 13, this is um, a wood veneer and I put the date on it, but I didn't stick it down because that way if this changes, I can move the 13 to wherever it needs to be. But for now, it's there. And then this is day 14. I'm going to stop the video here and come back with um, the second part. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you real soon.